If you go into a grocery store and you buy pretty much anything, a bottle of water, a bag of chips, that thing will have a nutritional label on it. If you go buy beer or wine or liquor, it usually doesn't. That's crazy. The reason why is kind of complicated. So it all dates back to 1935. Shortly after prohibition was repealed, Congress formed a new agency that would regulate alcoholic beverages. Booze got its own agency. It wasn't regulated by the Food and Drug Administration, which meant that in 1990, when the FDA told food companies they needed to start labeling all of their packaged foods, that rule didn't apply to alcohol. In the years since, there's been a weird hodgepodge of complicated rules put into place for nutrition facts on alcohol. Super weird. For example, most beers are made out of something called malted barley. But if you're an alcohol company and you happen to make a beer that doesn't have malted barley in it, sorry, you need to put a label on that. Same goes if you're a winemaker and say you have a particular vintage that happens to contain less than 7% alcohol by volume. Sorry, put a label on that one too. But for most of the alcohol that we drink, labels are optional. So they can list calorie counts if they want, and if they do, they also have to list carbs, protein, and fat, but they can also just leave all that out. Which means that those of us who are super conscious of ingredients or trying to count calories are pretty much out of luck. Consumer groups have tried six different times to get the regulations changed, to get labels put on alcoholic beverages. And they've even gotten close a few times. But the beverage industry, as you might have guessed, has some powerful lobbyists. A few different industry groups said that if they were required to put nutrition facts on alcohol, it would mislead consumers into thinking that alcohol was nutritious. Wine producers also said it would be way too hard to test every single vintage for things like calorie content or grams of sugar, especially when these things vary so much from year to year. In the end, the consumer groups lost their fight. Basically, regulators just sided with manufacturers and made labels optional. The fact that alcoholic beverages don't have nutrition labels on them, this has consequences for people's health. When people don't have information about how many calories they're consuming or how much sugar, they're not as good at making smart decisions about how much to drink. It's certainly not a guarantee that people would drink more responsibly if they knew this information, but putting it on the label definitely can't hurt. Just from a consumer standpoint, it seems like our right to know that if we know it for bottled water, if we know it for a package of chips, it's really bizarre that we're not allowed to know it for beer.